Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for having me. My name is Arshad Kazmi, and we at VMT develop software solution tunnels and underground navigation system, mostly for mechanized tunneling and also for drill and blast tunnels. Yeah. So today's topic is relevant to our latest development um, for our navigation system, which we did um, named as a moving station, where we use some machine learning techniques to, to, to determine the position of the TBM during the advance. I will go into more details in the following slides. So basically, we at VMT, we provide the navigation system since 25 years now. And the system was working before while having a total station on this tunnel wall, like you see here. And then the target unit on the front side of the machine and then determining the position. Uh, this was quite rigorous job for a surveyor and the shift engineers to basically deal with the total station time to time when the machine is going forward, then shift the uh, total station from the back to the front. What we did is basically we enhanced the system called as moving station, keeping the total station with the TBM, which travels together with the TBM. Uh, this has many benefits for the customer. Uh, it determines automatic TBM position. TBM is basically a tunnel boring machine. I, maybe some of you know. I don't know. Um, it provides a geometrical position as well, and there is automatic tri bug basically automatic leveling system there, which basically automatically levels the total station to determine the position. Yeah? And we need basically backside prism to make the orientation of the total station. Minimum at least two backside prisms. And those, this is the only thing which normally job site or the surveyor or the TBM operator has to do. Other than that, this automated product, which is called as moving station, provides all the solution autonomously. Yeah. Um, basically, we enhance the system from our previous um, existing standard system. And so it means that customer can anytime switch between two modes if they want. Um, how it works? Basically, tunnel boring machine is, 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 is working in two cycles. The first cycle is basically when um, machine is starting or when machine is standstill. Total station is in a more relaxed uh, form or the state. We can determine the position easily. But during the excavation, when machine starts here, for example, you see in this visualization, this is the cycle number one when we get the position. But as soon as machine starts advancing, then there is a problem of determining the precise position. And there are issues getting the free stationing plus the vibration issue. We are working on that, but in the meanwhile, we use some sensor viewing technique and machine learning technique to determine the position precisely to help the operator to steer the machine more optimally. Um, the topic of the presentation, like I said in the beginning, using the, some machine learning techniques. So here, the cycle number two is basically will be addressed in this presentation. Yeah. Uh, here you see a typical scenario from the tunnel boring machine. Uh, operator stands in the control cabin. He tries to steer the machine with uh, those push ramps, potentiometers, um, uh, exerting some pressure. Uh, here you see a navigation GUI coming from the tunnel boring machine itself, the data from the machine. And that screenshot basically shows our universal navigation system, which provides the position to steer the machine optimally. Yeah? And the challenge is, like I said in the beginning, um, how to determine the position when the machine is um, in the 
operation mode when the operator is steering it. Uh, so we use multi-sensor technique plus uh, machine learning to basically determine the position. Um, with the multi-sensors, actually, we had the issue that how operator try to steer the machine. For example, here you see this is a typical scenario. Machine is standing still. We got a position from total station, and on the below graph, you see there are blue dot, there are green dots, which are basically representing the machine position when machine is stand still. And blue is a simple interpolation between these green dots to get the real TBM position. And red is basically showing how operator try to steer. So, if you look on this graph, for example, here. Operator is really steering hard to get back to the zero deviation, so um, to get back to the zero offset. And machine is reacting a little bit later because it's like you are drilling. And uh, this causes static behavior of the machine uh, was a big challenge how to model this. And uh, we found some correlation in the history data using um, this history data that how can we determine the position because the future position of the machine is mostly dependent on the history data. And this gave us impression that uh, we can um, probably deploy some machine learning algorithm and can use it for, the, um, for, for, for determining the position during the advance. So here is again the graph that how I try to steer, but the real blue dots, the real position of the machine is basically going straight, but the operator is trying to steer left and right. That basically brings us to the point that using this historical history data, since we have um, a problem which is basically a numerical data, and it belongs to a regression problem, using a classical machine learning technique, um, simple time series models, we basically model um, a position of the machine as precisely as it could be possible to get a nice position, which really helped operator to steer machine better. So this is how the algorithm looks like. Yeah, We have some unknown target function, probability output given by some inputs. We train the model based on uh, from different job sites data. And then when in a real job site we deploy this model, we get the information from our tuner software, and then we predict the position and we display it. Uh, moving forward, basically, there are different kind of machines. I will not go into detail. Uh, for example, single shield and sh single shield with articulation cylinder to steer it more, more better than there are hard rock machine. So we basically used all the machine, the data from all these machines to post process the data to get the impression if we get those results which we are aim to have. Yeah. So here you see the green basically line is basically representing the predicted point. And the orange is basically the desired output. And you see the prediction is providing more close data or the output compared to the real TBM position. And then next question comes, uh, most of the time we see that um, machine learning is easy to do or handle with the offline data. But when it goes to real deployment, then there is a big issue how to handle this data in real time. Uh, there, basically, what we did, we simply made an API interface using uh, some libraries uh, from Python, uh, Flask. And um, this post method, basically, talking with tuners, give me certain history data. I provide you the predicted point in future where the machine will end up. And as you see on the tuners navigation GUI, there is uh, this orange marked prediction. This is active status, for example, of the machine. That prediction is active. And this is live position being displayed from the predicted uh, from, from Python server, which is basically interface between tuners and um, providing the position. Yeah? Uh, there are definitely a lot of challenges to handle the data, which we handled it uh, quite well. And um, with that, basically, I will quickly go to the results from the real job site from online data. This is one kind of machine, which is basically EPB, earth pressure balance machine with articulation cylinders. 
Here you see the blue line is coming from the total station, blue dots, simply interpolated data between to get the impression that this was the real position of the machine. And green is basically the predicted position, yeah? And this provided us an accuracy of under 10 millimeter or so, and uh, this was quite promising to basically use this moving station with the prediction as a product. Uh, we have results from um, other job sites as well. As you see here, the green is always uh, more closer to the blue uh, from real total station position. And um, then we used basically, uh, when we predict, we can only predict the history response from the machine. But in order to know what is the exact position of the machine right now, I mean, how the machine is reacting to the steering behavior during the advance. Like I said, the quasi-static behavior in the beginning, this gives us only the front point of the machine in the ground that where this will end up. But the rear point of the machine is a little bit more dependent on the steering parameters which operator applies. So using some sensor viewing technique, um, uh, data from these push ramps, which operator is basically pushing from the thrust cylinders, and inclinometer data and certain other sensors, we basically use this sensor fusion technique basically to model the rear point of the machine. And here you see that uh, this olive lines basically representing the rear, rear point of the machine, which basically quite directly impact of the steering uh, on the machine. Uh, this basically gave us really a good um, outcome uh, to basically uh, give the results which are basically required for the job site. And then this is also another uh, example. So we basically use this product for one job site, which we already completed the drive for around five kilometers or so. And then at the moment, we are using this product, Tunis Moving Station, for three job sites with the single shield machine and then um, single shield machine with cutting wheel adjustment cylinder, three other job sites. So all together is around eight job sites, which we are using at the moment with this Tunix moving station. And this provided really a great benefits to the customer, especially saving their time uh, for the shift engineers, for the surveyor to not necessary to be on the machine. And there is really no damage to the original or the important product, which is basically segments lining the tunnel itself. And it also reduces the, uh, the, the wear and tear. And um, this also brings us to the point where we are looking forward to have autonomous navigation solution, plus uh, this autonomous steering in future, which is coming. And uh, with this, innovative product basically using together machine learning techniques plus the sensor fusion gave us a direction where we can think about how can we autonomously provide a navigation system.